Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency. My name is Michael Langdon and today what I'm going to do is do something fun. I'm going to show you how to make a rocket ship in Inkscape. And uh, to begin, of course, you need a copy of Inkscape, which you can get at Inkscape.org or you can get a portable version at PortableApps.com. I'm using uh, the one from the latest version from Inkscape.org, which is... I believe 0.48 so so what I'm gonna do is uh, basically start with a circle but we're doing an oval so there's our oval okay that's gonna be the cone so to speak of our rocket ship cone no just part of our rocket ship I'm gonna make it a darker red like a maroon and then I'm going to come over here and then we have to change object to path so we get these here and these are our handles and we get to manipulate our corners with this and actually I'm going to go Z and we're going to click this one right here and it's going to make it symmetrical and what that does is it means when we pull in one side it pulls the other one the same Although it didn't didn't seem to do that, but that's what it's supposed to do. And that's really all we have to do for that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the back of this, right about there. Okay, and we can just use another square like it did. You just select the square and you decide where you want it cut off. Then you select both items, and you come up to here and you do difference and that's it's going to take the difference of this from this so that's basically our rocket ship now we can rotate this so that it points up and down okay and then once we have this pointed up and down now we're going to color it and we want to come here that gives us our edit objects and our fill is going to be, whoops, we have to select it first. Our fill is going to be this, but we want to edit this and we want to flip this. Okay. And we flip it by clicking edit here. And we don't want it transparent either. We want it, um, we want this to be white. So, yeah, let's go there. That allows us to be a white. And then this one, we simply want to take from the alpha, which is at zero, and bring it up to full color. And then we can close this. And that's pretty good where we want our how our gradient to look. Maybe tighten it up just a little more. Yeah, it's so hard to get it to sit right, though. Okay, so there's uh, the first part of our rocket ship, and um, we can make this three. Okay, the other thing we can do is we can duplicate two of these, and what we're going to do with this is we're going to do another difference. Keeps wanting to snap to it. Okay. And if we do that other difference, I believe it is, you can see what it's going to do. It's going to give us this. Now what we want to do is go stroke paint zero, and we want to convert this to white, and you'll see what's going to happen here. Okay. Now that's a little big, so we're going to tighten this up. Oh. Actually, I made it a little too big, but that's okay. It'll still work. Okay. And then what we really want to do here is we want to blur this up. Okay. Blur it. Um, bring the opacity down a bit, and then we're just going to move it up a little bit. Okay. 
Oh, come on. I'm sorry. Oh, please, don't do that. There we go. There we go. And what we probably want to do is we probably want to zoom in on this top part because you can see it goes over it. And what we really want to do is take this, move this up to here, and then actually have these converge upon each other a bit. I don't know why it's doing that. It shouldn't be sticking to the cusp like that. Oh, and then this. If we wanted to with that one, we could just delete it. And then that would be gone. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come out here like this. Okay. And we probably want to do the same, something similar for this. Okay. And you can just see how more realistic it looks with that. So this is basically the, the cone of our rocket. It's not really a cone. It's the entire rocket. So this is it. So the next thing we want to do is make a fin. And the easiest way to make a fin is just to draw like a triangle. And I'm going to try to match it. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. So just click once. And click there. Click there. Click there. Click there. We're going to click there. Now click there. And then finally, we have a fin. And what I want to do is just do my eyedropper because I want to match up the color to that, to the ship itself. Now what I want to do is I want to come here and I want to click on this and then click on this because I want to shape this a little differently. I want to kind of have a cool... And what I did is I made this symmetrical, which is this button right here. And then you can see how it made my fin symmetrical. And we're going to come down here. But we're not going to make it symmetrical there. We're going to double click on the line there so we add another one. And now we're going to make this one symmetrical. And we're just going to pull this out a little bit. Like that. So that's our fin. And what we want to do is give that about a stroke width of about four, I think it should be. Oh, maybe three. Three. And then what we're going to do is send that behind everything so that it looks like that. But we want to get it so that it's as close to it as possible. So we're going to match it up just like that. And then, of course, we also have to color this so that it it is a fill with a gradient. And again, we have to... But luckily, we have that gradient already made, so we don't have to do much with it except kind of move it around maybe shorten it up or it does it really doesn't matter how you do this just so long as you do something it gives it depth and then we're gonna duplicate this and we're just gonna flip it like that and we're gonna match it up just like this here and send it to the back okay and then we're gonna duplicate one more but this one was gonna come up here and what we have to do is with this one is just a little different because I'm going to have to take this and double click here and yep I'm going to have to do that because what we're going to have to do is make sure that this kind of lines up with how the shape of the rocket would be down here and that looks pretty good well I probably want to stretch it out just a little more there that looks good the only problem though is that we have to now then shorten this because remember we're looking at it from a different perspective so I might have well that looks pretty good actually but the only thing we need to do is just come back to the stroke style and change this to four again or three that's right it's three so there's our third fin. Okay. Now the last thing we want to do is maybe move this up just a hair. 
Well, no, actually, it should be down there. I'm going to zoom in ever so slightly. Here, we're just going to come down here because I have to make a nozzle. Okay, so I'm just going to do a square. I'm just going to come right to these lines. Oh, that's not it. I grabbed the wrong thing. Sorry. There we go. Just like that. Uh, we have to go object path and then click here. Actually, I'm going to go Control Z. You can actually click click both of these, and so you can drag them at the same time, which is good. We're going to move that. We're going to move that. And then we're going to take this, whoops, and put that like that. And then, of course, I have to uh, stroke paint, stroke style three. Okay. Actually, I'm going to zoom in all the way on this. I'm going to put a gradient fill here, and I'm just going to ever so light. There we go. Now let's zoom out and take a look at a rocket. There's a rocket. Um, that's basic. So next uh, video I'm going to show you how to add like a window with have the lights glow. I'm going to show you how to add flames and smoke. So uh, this is learningengineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency.